Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to the third dimension. So, you know, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my previous videos. Um, you know, for today, uh, I'm not going to talk. I, I mean, I'm going to talk less, but I'm going to try to speed up my videos. Uh, um, you know, for example, uh, we, we're, we're talking about landscapes, we're talking about uh, walkways and all that. For example, you know, if you go to Google and if you write parametric walkways, so, you know, this is even a, a, a concept which we have when it comes to architectural art, right? I mean, these are all parametric walkways. So have you guys ever wondered? I mean, check this one out. This is so beautiful. Uh, you know, when you, as a rabbit user, when you look at something like this, what are the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, in my case, uh, you know, I'm, um, the first thing that pops in my head are parametric families or adapt families. And, uh, you know, these are nodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. So making a making an adaptive family and importing it into a project and then just pasting it over your nodes, right? And uh, this is the, the initial shape that we have to make and, uh, make, and then we have to change it into a pattern. So today we're going to look at uh, how we make something like this inside Revit. We are going to quickly hurry up. The first thing is always the architectural template or you could say the massing insight and um, you know we're even gonna from now on um, uh, you know we're gonna open up our curtain family base because we know that we have to make this if it's right now if it's later on so in this case let's go to um, massing insight let's go to in place mass and uh, let's place this so the first thing we do is we change the units to millimeter two meters i think it's better right meters because it's not something small and uh, then we need a plane to start with, right? Uh, RP, I'm gonna speed up my videos because you know they, they, they can get boring. Um, so this is gonna be the START, start. Okay, and uh, we don't need to finish. So now, um, for example, if it's from this, right? So north, east, west, and south. Uh, let's go to south. And um, let's make our initial pattern design. So pick plane and um, it's gonna be the start. And uh, from here to here, and um, so the height can be what should the height be? Five, fine. And uh, this one can be three. Um, all right, I think three is fine. Although I wanted four, but three is fine for now. And uh, okay, so this is done. Now let's go back to 3D view. Let's close all inactive views, and we definitely uh, we need something behind, right? And you know, if we go to show, so this is gonna show us the, the plane that is set. So we can even double check it. Let's set um, let's set this plane. All right, so we are in, what are we? In level one, we have set in this plane, right? Now, if we simply select this, and then if we just go to the top view, and if we click uh, CO for copy, and uh, it will not not let us copy. So how do we do that? We turn off the constraints. And uh, okay, we have copied that. And uh, oh my God, how much feet was it? I forgot how many meters was it. Let's let's do it again. Um, copy and uh, top and uh, CO from this point. Uh, turn off constraint and uh, um, okay, 25 meters. Fine. So now um, uh, you know, if we just simply make it, it's going to be extremely boring, right? Uh, you know what? In fact, uh, let, let's do it. What's wrong? So how about uh, we select this and we select this and uh, CO for copy again. And uh, all right. Now, if we click on this and um, let's rotate this by 45. So 45. Okay, so now, I mean, in this case, we can play with it as much as you want. Uh, if we select this and if we select this, create form and check this out, we have made our form. If we select this and if we select this, create form and we have made our form. And, uh, you know, uh, we're free, all right, as long as your concept is clear. I mean, with these shapes, you can make as many shapes as we want. Check this out. If we if we go for the other traditional method, I mean, uh, the you know, the adaptive family method, the massing method, check this out. So one, two, three, make sure your plane is set to one so that there wouldn't be any problems. Um, so check this out. And uh, all right, all right. Now, if we, um, we're in top, we write, let's select all of these points. And let's uh, go to spline. Okay, let's select this spline. Let's go to reference line, convert this into a reference line. 
and uh, you know the 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 width of this was five right five by three so we're going to do the same with that. Let's go to reference. Let's select rectangle. Let's set. And uh, let's set this. And uh, let's go to 5 by 3. So let's select. Uh, let's uh, individually select this. So this has to be 3. Okay. And uh, let's individually select this. This has to be 5. So now let's select all of this. And... Um, MV to bring this to the top all right so now that is selected uh, that path is selected and uh, create oops we unable to create an element self interacting or self the yes that's when the problem comes so in this case guys um hmm, how about uh, how about uh, because you know the shape is um, interacting with ourselves and that's not the program's fault it is my fault because I chose the path to be um, uh, a bit confusing. So, um, for example, if we okay, is this better and uh, a bit bigger? Now, if we select on this and if we select this, let's see if it works. Yes, it did work. We we have to change the size and we have to play with the points a little bit. Because we have to make sure, you know, this uh, the shape that we made, it does not uh, interact with one another. That's the trick, all right? So, uh, you know, this, uh, I just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll imagine that this is the player that, uh, this is the place where a problem was arriving, right? So anyways, if you play with the shape a little bit, uh, everything would be fine. And, um, you know, now, um, nothing, it's, it's extremely hard. We have even done this previously in my videos. Now we have to make sure that, uh, for example, in this one, we do not need the U grid. We do, we do not need the V. In this case, uh, U grid, V grid, we don't need it. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, we do not need the V grid because, you know, these are going to be our shape, right? And um, you know what? Let, let me change this to hit lines. Okay, and uh, for surface representation, we want our nodes to show so that, uh, I mean, you know, we are able to paste our, our family uh, through the nodes, right? We have to attach it through the nodes. We do not need the, the U grid with the V grid. We do not need the V grid and we do not need the V grid. Now the numbers. So how about a 25? And uh, in this case, um, 25, in this case, uh, 25, and uh, even in this case, so 25. Okay, and um, now let's go back to our curtain family. This is where things are going to be fun. So now we have to sort of make a pasting family in this, all right? And, uh, you know, uh, I'm in love with rabbit modeling. It was all of these things were hard, but once you practice again and again and uh, everything becomes easy, the human brain is so strong and so is the software. Uh, there are so many things we can do. So we paste a point. We go to uh, references, rectangle, um, set. Now, um, so we have set, for example, if we go to, all right, um, the show. Yeah, it's about different here. So now if we just paste this uh, and, you know, let's even make it parametric, all right, because otherwise it wouldn't be fun. For example, if we select this, so MV and uh, MV, so we click on this and, uh, okay, so this is the mid, right? Fine, we pasted it in the mid and, uh, you know, instead of setting the constraints, how about, um, how about simply this? and this and uh, this and uh, this all right um or do you guys want to set the constraints i think we leave it all right in this case just leave it so the first thing is always the un let's um you know let's uh, make the units equal so that it's easier uh 559 and uh, look okay, okay fine so this is going to be the what is this going to be the d e p t h depth uh depth Okay, why am I making things confusing? Okay, depth um, and uh, depth RR. Okay, depth of rectangle. This is going to be the L E N G T H um, RR. 
Okay, and uh, let's check out the family that we have made. So this is this can be um, what can this be? Five hundred. Um, nope. Uh, this can be five fifty, and this can be nine hundred. And if we press apply and check this out, we have changed uh, the dimensions of our ship without any problem. So our parametric family is on point, right? We, we didn't face any problem. Now select this and select this and create form and check this out. So this is our parametric family and uh, now load into the project. And uh, now we have to paste our parametric uh, family um, with the help of these nodes, all right? And uh, guys, we forgot to activate the nodes on this side. Um, for example, if we, you know, when there are things one behind the other in Revit, there's always the tab, right? If you keep on pressing the tab, and uh, so you can kind of differentiate uh, surface representation, and uh, these are the nodes which we had to activate. Uh, they're activated, right? Let me double check. Okay. Now let's go back to create components and uh, one, and uh, where is it? Right here, two, and uh, right here, three, and right here, four. Okay, uh, everything looks good, but the shape is more than big. Uh, anyways, how do we fix this? Let's go back to our model. And uh, you know, the first thing is we, we will want um, to make the materials a controllable parameter, right? So as we did on our previous videos, uh, new and um, materials um, are, are okay. So the dimensions, as far as dimensions are concerned, you know, the length was too big, isn't it? Um, 550, how about 400 and uh, 600 and apply. Um, 400 and apply, fine. Uh, and uh, for the materials, you know, Valentine's Day just passed. And um, how about something? Yes, aluminum red. This doesn't look bad at all. And OK and OK. So, you know, this even tells us that our parametric family is correct, right? We were able to change it with the help of parameters and we do not have any problems. So now load into the project and um, all right, the existing, yes. And uh, it's not going to show, that's fine. Uh, for example, uh, if you go back to create and if you go to components, then now it's going to show. So, <laughs> you know, these are good things that do happen. So now if you select one of them and if you just go to repeat, and uh, this is our parametric walkway. So check this out. So look at how beautiful it looks. And uh, check this out, guys. So, you know, the same can be done for all other shape as, as much as you want. You want to quickly do it for this. Otherwise, I want my videos to be small, guys. But... Um, And uh, repeat and uh, check this out so th this is in fact more beautiful than that one right so I mean these are all the different walkways that you can make if you go to realistic and even the same can be done with this so how about we just finish our mass we go to massing inside we go to topo surface and uh, one and two and three and four and uh, we go to materials okay uh, the materials is not showing now if you go to materials and uh, come on, G R A S S. And uh, if we um, add materials to document, yes, I do want to add it to document and use rendered view. And uh, okay, and check this out. And uh, uh, we do not want to show the mass, but still it's going to show it. So, how about we go to VB double V, and uh, which is a visibility setting? We go to where should we go? Mass, 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 where are you? Okay, mass. And check this out. So look at how beautiful our walkway looks. So these are, the, you know, this is the way of making walkways inside uh, Revit. And uh, look, look at this. And guys, um, do you have time? Um, do you have time? Do you want to make things more interesting? How about we go to here, modify and uh, paint. And oh my God, it's not in the paint. How about we go to manage materials? And uh, L U uh, luminance, 
Luminance, Luminance, L U M I N A N C E. Yes, here it is. So we add that. Now we have added it in our materials, right? Now we go to modify. So paint, we're luminance, and uh, how about. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, done. So check this out. We have we have made this part to luminance. All right. Now you know the more time you spend on it, the better it is gonna get. Let it load in. Let it load in. That's fine because there is there's a lot of data pro to process. And if you go to graphics display, if you go to smooth lines, and for the shadows we activate both of them for the lightning sun only uh, and artificial. And uh, for the for the photographic exposure, that's automatic. For the background, let's set this to what? To sky. If you press OK, and uh, check this out. So this part has become, uh, you know, it has become uh, luminous, isn't it? There's a light passing by. You know, let's go and check out the render view and go end this video. All right, guys, uh, check this out. So, uh, you know, um, for example, if you go to the flying mode and uh, check out how beautiful our HDR is. So this is what we made, all right? Now, if you go to space and uh, this is the luminance, check this out. Look at how beautiful it looks. This is the, you know, <laughs> excuse me. So within 15 minutes, we, make, we made such a beautiful parametric walkway. And uh, we are in night view, although, but the HDRI lightning is to the point, right? So this is, check this out, this is the walkway. And look at how beautiful it, it is with the lights coming in from the inside. And uh, this is the walkway that we initially made. So we are walking on grass, right? Uh, check this out. So, you know, this is uh, the method that you use to make all these different walkways. And we just make two within... 15 minutes once your basic concept is clear anything in detail so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from them and there are so many more coming by you know adaptive family uh, this concept is one of the strongest concepts in revit if you master this you can model literally anything check this out look at how beautiful you know two pieces of architectural art that we have made within 15 minutes and if you spend more time into it if you give it more effort so many things can be done so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you liked it. Uh, please do share and subscribe, right? So that, you know, you receive um, my video whenever I upload it. So have a good day and bye-bye. Uh,